Kevin. I'm real pleased. You decide to come. Well, uh, Jess insisted. Important thing is, you're here. I wanted you to know that uh, any part I had in what happened during the storm, I truly regret. I was kind of hoping maybe we could get past that and start the new millennium off right. Oh, it'd be great. And this would be a perfect occasion. It's going to be a great night. Your whole family's going to be here. Well, anybody that really counts. Is that to mean that Grace didn't count? That's not what I meant, and you know that. Right or wrong, yes. I did a check on her past for you, but I did not cause her death. You're amazing, you know that? I shouldn't have come. I thought, you know, maybe I'd have a chance at fixing something with you and moving on, but that's banking on you learning. And you haven't learned a damn thing, have you? Are you out of your mind? No. I mean, how, how, you don't even know this guy. How could you love him? Kevin, I can't answer a question like that. How can I love him? I don't know how, but I do, and it's very real. Oh, well, I'm certain that it's real for you. Me too. No, you're lying. Stop this, Kevin. No, no, you stop this. You're telling me that you're in love with a murderer. He's never killed anybody. Oh, really? Well, he's responsible for a lot of deaths. I mean, there's Mel. There, do I need to name them all? You, you stand next to this guy long enough, you'll die. No. No, I'm not going to let it happen. It's not going to happen. Kevin. Nope, nope. I'm calling the police right now before it's too late. Put down the telephone, Kevin. You're not calling anyone. Mom. You're not. You'd be signing his death warrant if you did. I won't allow it. I... I want you to listen to me, all right? Somehow, all the facts you have are wrong. And we have to figure out how this happened. So I would like to get all the information that you have from Mel on this story. Because, believe me, it doesn't add up. And I know that you don't want to print this story until it's right. I got it right. No. No, Kevin. You do not. You have to believe me on this. Kevin, honey, if this man were a liar or a murderer, I would know it. Do you love this guy? Yes, I do. I love him very much. But much more important, I trust him completely. And I will not let you or my newspaper put him in danger. So you have to trust me on this. I don't know if I can. Mom, how are you doing? Hi, Kevin. Um, <clears throat> something wrong? Nah. Nah. How come you're sitting at my kitchen table like one of the brothers Karamazov? Ah, hmm? uh, you've been reading your Russian romance novels. You... Oh, no, no, I don't think so, although I maybe should, <clears throat> because I've certainly been living in one. <laughs> Boy, it smells good. What you cooking over there? Oh, it's just stew. Stew? That's stew, yeah, stew. I don't enough stew for an army. Well, you know me, I like leftovers. Besides, you never know when some starving editor-in-chief is going to pop in. <laughs> you never know when some starving doctor is going to show up. Hmm? Ben coming over? <laughs> yeah, just, I mean, he just thought he might drop by, yeah. Why don't you just tell me that he was coming over? Because, Kevin, we really... We certainly wouldn't mind if you joined us. That's okay. I'm, I'm going to be fine. I can take care of myself. Oh, honey. Mm. Yeah. No, seriously, don't worry about it. Have fun, Mom. Hey, number one son. Yes. Thank you. 